Alright, you guys. Let's get into it. It's talking about the 5G and everything in between behind it. So. Let's get in it. Talking about a little bit of the 5G technology. And the mind control, man. Mind control bot behind the 5G. Behind all this that you see. Every bit of it. 5G technologies being infiltrated into the game right now. Uh, Sprint's doing it. T-Mobile already got it going. Uh, I think AT&T should be right behind them. Uh, these Metro PCSs, all these small companies are pushing the 5G technology. So I guess you would say, well, why does it matter? I love fast internet. I want all these things. Why does it matter to me? Why do I care? Well, let's go ahead and jump into it. And we're going to just talk about a little bit of the 5G and why it does matter. So stand by. Stand by. All right. Let's get into it. Give my brother, he's going to break it down a little bit for you. Takes it to a whole new level. And the mind control capabilities, the frequency generation weapon capabilities, with current patents and patents that have been around 30 years. You could tweak things just a little bit, and it could get really, really, really bad. So, are they really just setting up these 5G systems for faster download speeds? No. Or are they setting it up for a mind control web to keep people docile? I'm going to share with you a patent that shows how to literally control people's minds by putting them in a certain mental state. I'm recording. <laughs> Hello, we're not in Kansas anymore. And if you are, it's not really Kansas. It's the new New World Order. Right. So when we, this is a quote, when we built our LTE network, we had the unlimited future in mind. And we take that same approach here. Ray said, every dollar we invest in our network is a 5G dollar. Who's Ray? Well, Ray is the chief technological officer or chief. Pretty much what he's saying is just like what we've been saying all along. Our 5G technology, let's, let's, let's just jump into our 5G technology in the polls. How it's completely straight up mind control. It's blatantly mind control. It's just completely obvious. All we got to do is just, just look at it for what it is. It's completely mind control. Biometrics, all of it. They're going to start putting these 5G uh, telephone poles, small telephone poles, in front of your houses. They're putting them around the corner. Haven't you seen these? I know you've seen these before, have you not? I'm sure you've seen them. I'm sure you've seen this one. I'm sure you've seen that. All the same. I'm sure you've seen that one. All the same game. All of it's the same. New world order in this agenda. My control devices. They're all the same. It's all the same thing. Facebook. Social media, all these social media outlets, all of them the same. Shooting neurons into your brain, controlling you. MK Ultra, all that. It's all the same. Every bit of it. These scientists do this stuff. In one ear, not the other. Government. It's just straight up. It's, it's, it's diabolical, but at the same time, it's right in your face. It's up to you to see it. It's truly up to you to see it, man. And why are we speaking about this? Because this is what's going on in this cashless society that we live in. We live in a cashless society. We live in a, a cashless world. Cashless society, plain and simple. Everything is what I like to call a give me America. Where, again, what you see is nobody carries money. Everybody carries a car, and you wouldn't believe what's going on over there in China, how they have all these things that are going on around the world that is just exposing the, 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 the Bitcoin and the, uh, the biometric system and everything in between. Right here, this is what I wanted you to see. Check this out. And today, we are going to look at China's amazing innovation in society. On almost every street, payment is already a normal transaction nowadays. Look, cashless payment together with auto. Stand by, stand by. That's not the one I wanted. Stand by.
Alright, let's just check this out real quick. I think this is one of the ones I looked up the other day. Check it out. By the way, hope you guys can hear me well. I got the Blue Yeti mic. Works really good from what I've been using. Hope you guys can hear me. It's a cashless society. We got to pay attention to the beast in general. Pushed out out here. It's easy access. That's why people believe a cashless society is something good. But in all reality, ladies and gentlemen, it's not. Yeah, everything's easy access. Yes, everything is easy to have to where you don't have to worry about this anymore. You don't have to worry about the cash. But in all reality, now well, what, what are they going to do? You know what they're going to do? They're going to go and they're going to move into this. New World Order. Not no Warpack New World Order. The real New World Order. This. This is what you're going to see. You're going to see all this. All this propaganda. All this is being pushed. Every bit of it. All this sorcery. All this what you see. It's what's happening. George Soros. All these guys. Are pushing it. New world order. Order. All of it. All of this is happening. Illuminati New World Order. Right now. Right now in the Super Bowl, you see it happening. Illuminati symbols everywhere. It's on your money. Boom. It's everywhere. It's on your dollars. It's on euros. It is everywhere. It's diabolical. It's around the world. It's all about are you seeing the signs? Are you seeing the signs? Are you seeing the things that are coming? Are you paying attention to what's going on? That's what it's all about. Paying attention. Because guess what? They see you. <laughs> they see you. They see me. They see us, man. But no worries. Because all with all that being said, we have no fear. We have no fear. Because we believe and we have the Almighty Father. Do we not? Hallelujah. Glory be to the king. No fear. No fear. Right? First John. First John 4.18. There is no fear in love, but perfect love divides. But drives a perfect love drives out fear because fear has to do with what? The punishment. The ones who fear is not made perfect in love. So see, we don't fear. We don't have no reason to fear. There's no reason to fear whatsoever. Love comes from God. In this way, love has been uh, profit, yeah, perfected among us so that we may have the confidence on the day of judgment. For in this world, we are just like him. There is no fear in love, but perfect love divides out, drives out fear. Fear involves punishment, but the ones who has fear has been protected in love. So we have no fear. The Father puts no fear in us. So there's something for none of us to worry about. But as long as we do this, keeping the commandments of the Father, we have nothing to worry about. Hallelujah. Glory be to the King. Right here. Do not add to what I command you and do not subtract from what do not subtract from it, but keep the commands of the Lord your God that I give you. Do not add, do not subtract. Right here on Revelation 22 and 18. I testify to everyone who hears the words of the prophecies in this book. If anyone adds to them, God will add to him the place that are described in the book. I know this is a little bit off topic, but you know we always got to go back to scripture. All of it lines up. None of it. None of this is void. So when we see all of the hell and all the things going on in the world, we realize and we know without a shadow of a doubt, we know where our help comes from, ladies and gentlemen. So with that being said, blessings, because the king is coming. Seek his face.